This is the World Cup, and this is the France national team. Today, I will be creating my own French team and winning the World Cup in FIFA Ultimate Team. I'll be following France's IRL fixtures and making my way to the final. So who am I picked today and who's missing out? France's goalkeeper for the World Cup is going to be Hugo Lloris. But I don't want Hugo Lloris. I'm going to go with Mike Mike. First, I've got this beautiful pink card, so let's put him in. Now, I'm aware at right back, France usually play Lucas Hernandez, Pavard or someone like that. But on FIFA, they're bloody slow. So I'm going to use a left back at right back on no chemistry. The rat himself, Berlin Mendy. Today's left back choice was an absolute no-brainer. IRL on FIFA, Theo Hernandez is the go. He has a lovely informed card where he's looking down. Let's add him in. Now I'm moving away from the centre back pairing that I think France will choose. The first guy's not even been picked, and that's Lacroix. And he has this lovely rule breaker card that's only 41,000. Let's pick him up. Partnering him today is going to be a road to the knockout card. Plays for Liverpool, Canate. Our two centre midfielders are going to be Thomas Lamar and Moussa Sissoko. Now we have four positions left, our four attackers. On the right hand side, an inform, he's probably going to be a star at the World Cup as well, Ousmane Dembele. Our left wing today, probably one of the best cards on FIFA, Killian Mbappe. And we already own his cheeky inform. Now to me, this France squad is looking fire. Now two strike spots remaining, and we're going to use two half the glory cards. The first one been Antoine Griezmann. Partnering up with him today, the most expensive player other than Mbappe, Christopher Nkunku. And that finishes off the France team that I am going to try and win the World Cup with. France's first game is against Australia, so it's time to see if we can pick up the three points in the group stage. Now, the Australians are giving the French a rough time and they can't get off the mark, but Nkunku is clean. Throw Nkunku! Keeper's on fire! Suzoko, uh, oh, Nkunku! Hey! 1 0 to the French! Lamar! Oh! That's Dembele. <laughs> Dembele making his mark at the World Cup. Can Christopher Nkunku make his mark at the World Cup? He sees Mbappe. <gasps> and he wins a penalty! Come on! And we're going to bang it straight down the middle. Bang! Nkunku, a cross goal. And there is Antoine Griezmann to make it four. It looks like Australia have forfeited the first game. They can't do that actually IRL. But we top the group with a plus three goal difference. Denmark had a 2-1 win over Tunisia and our next game is against Denmark. How will we fare? As we load into the game against Denmark, it's all to play for three points for both teams. Who is gonna gain the advantage? We're straight through the free red time. Mbappe does what he does best. And straight away, Denmark rage quit. They're fuming. Denmark obviously thought they were secure. They feel like they're going to get an easy dub against Australia. It's time for the game against Tunisia. The real question is, can Tunisia cause an upset? Mbappe linking up with Dembele. Mbappe! Ooh. Antoine Griezmann breaking on the left. He's going to ball roll out. Finds the opportunity. Griezmann makes it one. Come on. Into Griezmann. Griezmann's clean again. A cross goal. 2-0. And Tunisia have also had enough. Three games, nine points. France top the group. Mexico managed to finish second in their group. So France play them in the last 16. Nkunku is causing the Mexican, Mexican defence all kinds of problems. Keeper out. Nkunku hits the bar. Griezmann with a great bit of dribbling near the box. Looks inside. Looks for Lamar. Killian Mbappe makes it 1-0. And the French breeze through the last 16 to make it to the quarterfinals. And the quarterfinals see France face my beloved England. This is a challenge. Fuck me. Every other game is a piss. Pretty better though, isn't it? Like, oh. 
and England take the 1-0 lead. The French team headed into the quarterfinals full of confidence, but we found ourselves not even just two, but 3-0 down. England make it three, and they get their celebration on. Mbappe looks through, Dembele, and there's one back for France. Oh, and Mendy! That's why he's a right back, finds the green time into the top bins. After pulling two goals back, the momentum was definitely with France. Can we get a goal before the final whistle? Mbappe finds Dembele, and it's three apiece. The French are back in it. Griezmann looking through. Oh, the French are tantalizing. Oh, no. That's some real play by England. And England go back in the lead. Griezmann looking for Dembele over the top. Kylian Mbappe for a piece. Come on, we'll have that signature celebration from Mbappe. Supposed to go to him. That wasn't supposed to go to him. That is so unfair. Christopher Nkunku has been found with a fantastic ball. Penalty! Kylian Mbappe steps up to the penalty. And he puts it top right, Mbappe! The French have no idea how long they have left. The clock's broken. Mbappe! Killian Griezmann! Yes! The French score! The last kick of the game! Come on! The first semi-final is going to consist of France versus Spain. Can France reach the final? After a monumental quarterfinal, the semi-final against Spain did not get off to a good start. And again, France find themselves 1-0 down. If being 1-0 down wasn't enough, Theo Hernandez decided to put on a red shirt and make it 2-0 to Spain. First real chance for France in the second half, it's Griezmann. Griezmann! And he makes it 2-1. Antoine Griezmann. We have played it over the top. Mbappe has found a gap. Kylian Mbappe! Two apiece. The French are back in it. Come on. And they're reading the play magically. It's Kylian Mbappe! Two. Dembele with the skills. Looks for Antoine Griezmann. Griezmann! And the French fans go wild. France have made the final. It's time for the World Cup final. France against Brazil. And France have kickoff. Here we go. The final of the 2022 Qatar World Cup. The French causing all sorts of problems. No. The World Cup final is off to a flyer. Chances at both ends. Who will break the deadlock? On the break from a corner. Lamar looks through and it's Kylian Mbappe. Oh, can he get through? He's powered through everyone. It's Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. He goes for the cheeky dink. And it's 1-0 to the French. Half time in the World Cup final. 1-0 France. The second half did not start as we wanted. And it ended up 1-1. Griezmann. Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann has done it before at a World Cup. Can he do it again? Griezmann. Yeah. It's only the 67th minute. France's celebrations did not last long and straight away, Brazil are back in it and Neymar gives us a dance. And the World Cup final goes to extra time. Theo Hernandez makes a darting run. Griezmann in there. Lamar Mbappé! It's extra time in the World Cup final and Kylian Mbappé! In Marquinhos saves off the line. Griezmann looks inside to that man, Kylian Mbappe, who just doesn't run out of steam. We find Usman Dembele. And the French win the World Cup. And after winning every single game, France win the 2022 World Cup. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed the concept of today's video. Please make sure you check out this video where I score with every single Argentinian forward that's going to the World Cup.